Hello and welcome, my name is Kyle for the win and welcome to another Call of Duty Zombies video. Today, we are back with my very first episode of, well it's not really of challenges, but we are back with my very first challenge video here in Call of Duty Zombies and today, we are going to be doing an Olympia only challenge on the map town. I am currently recording this super super late, so I apologize that I won't be as crazy excited as I normally am, which... I'm not really normally <clears throat> overly excited anyways, but specifically today, I'm not as energetic as normal, which is probably a better word for what I was trying to say. So, of course, with this Olympia challenge, Olympia only challenge, we get to use the Olympia only, and that is the only gun that we get to use throughout the entire playthrough. This should be a lot of fun, and we are also back on my first ever Zombies map town was the map that I started playing Zombies on. All the way back in 2012 which is pretty dang crazy I remember playing with my friends a ton on this map and just having a great time so it's it's a little bit nostalgic for me to be back on this map so that should be a lot of fun but basically how this challenge works is we have until round three and then we have to use we have to start using the Olympia so we can basically get through the pistol ammo that we have and then we automatically have to start using the Olympia at the beginning of round three which should which should be plenty of time but I actually did record this and we got to round 31 which was pretty dang crazy and I went to uh, get it going for you guys get the first part recorded and edited or get the first part edited sorry and well, it just decided to not go into my editing software, which is just so unlucky because there's really no fix to that as far as I know, which is a bummer, which means I have to re-record this. And I just, normally I have the zombie videos kind of rendering overnight. So when I wake up the next day, I can just focus on my main channel videos. Um, excuse me. But I went to go check tonight and there was no no video i wasn't able to get it going for you guys so that is why i'm recording it so late at night being super tired but ooh, that was pretty risky i thought i might die there but no we're good we are all good but yeah so that's why i'm recording it at night and not quite as energetic as i normally am but we should still hopefully have a lot of fun will we get to round 30 though i don't know we'll see i'm pretty well established with this map i've played it for a very long time so we'll see but i mean in all honesty i could have gone farther than round 30 31 which is and for the simple fact of the matter for the simple fact basically that i didn't get all of my quick revives and there we go we have the olympia which means we are officially ready to grind grind the rounds so, kind of the, the inspiration behind this challenge is actually a syndicate challenge all the way f back in Black Ops 1 on Keynote or Toten. All the way back then is where I'm drawing inspiration for this challenge, which is pretty dang crazy if you think about it. I watched a very old syndicate video multiple years ago, and he was playing on Keynote and he said, why don't, why not do... I, I may even link the video in this video, but it was basically a Olympia only challenge on Kino back in Black Ops 1 during Black Ops 1's life cycle. And I thought that was a super, super cool idea, super creative as well. So I just decided that I wanted to do that for my very first, my very first challenge. I'm going to move that mic down a little bit. Hopefully that wasn't loud or distracting, but it's kind of distracting me from actually seeing the gameplay. So wanted to definitely turn that down a little bit but but yeah that's where I'm drawing this inspiration from this should be a ton of fun and being that I have done that done that I have done this before unfortunately that wasn't the goal it wasn't my intention to do this first or to uh, have have to do a second attempt because I w wanted to just have the first attempt the first solid attempt of this challenge but yeah, I can't really control if it doesn't want to go into my editing software, so. But now we get a 
a redo and maybe we can even get farther and I've kind of decided of something kind of funny to do is that at round 33 we will always do a final stand or we will immediately go down and why why 33 well being that three is my favorite number I thought double threes would be a perfect round to end our playthrough I know it sounds a little crazy I know but I thought that would be kind of fun so for every challenge we'll do we'll end it at round 33 and and even all of my return to videos as well but yeah so this this isn't just a challenge that I came up with just in my head it was it was definitely it was an inspired challenge but it should be a lot of fun and hopefully we can get to round 30 and get do even better than we did in the last run which we'll see we may do worse but uh, you know when it comes to these challenge videos we're pretty much going to go until we die 33 of course is a question mark we may get there we may not get there but that's just kind of the that's just kind of the goal of the uh of the zombies here on the channel unless i do around 50 run or something but that that, that will mostly be live streamed i'm kind of gonna i'm going to try and get into live streaming so which should be pretty fun as well and i apologize for me stumbling over my words for the first seven minutes of this playthrough but i was not planning on recording tonight and oh and that's a down yeah that's a rip <laughs> that's super unlucky i think we're gonna be I think we're gonna be a uh, quick revivalist for a little bit yeah I've, yep that's what happens when you when you uh play zombies at night when you're not ready and why is this thing a two hit already we need to get out of here we need to get out of here holy crap god dang this thing got weak fast this thing got real weak fast I mean, I just realized that we're on round seven already, which is kind of my bad. I didn't, I was not paying attention. What is that? Max ammo? I mean, I'll take it. Perfect. Now we have enough for jug. That's, that's kind of why I didn't want to go buy quick revive right away. Because I wanted to get enough for jug. And now we have jug, which is, which is going to be much easier. But yeah, I'm a little bit, I'm not quite warmed up enough. Not quite warmed up. He's a fast guy. He's a fast zombie. There we go. Take him out. And let's go grab ourselves the Juggernog. Which is really important, of course. We can't really do much without Juggernog. But, I mean, I just love this map. So much nostalgia. Of course, though, I can't use... I cannot use uh, the Gavel Knuckles. I can only use equipment. So, if I somehow hit the box and get monkeys then that's the goal but for the most part we're going to have to be saving up points quite a bit because we're going to be needing a lot of points especially because when we pack a bunch of this gun of course we're going to need points for that so the ammo the non-pack a punched ammo goes from or the ammo goes from costing like five or six hundred points to costing five that 4500 4, so points are definitely going to be the concern for quite a while quite a while in this playthrough but it'll be completely fine be completely fine we just need to try and get headshots and stuff that will definitely help us get points faster but i'm not going to actually pack a punch this gun yet i'm actually going to go for double tap instead of pack a punch first because having double tap is just going to be huge Ooh, yes double points let's go so ideally i'm going to need yeah i'm going to need 2500 points which we should easily be able to get especially because that fantastic nuke let's go perfect grab that free 800 points and now we can go grab the double tap and we can buy ourselves some ammo because i think if we buy double tap it may make this kind of one hit oh ammo's only 250 what am i talking about thought it was a lot more than that but it's not thank goodness that's kind of lucky but it will be 4500 once we pack a punch this thing so yes and now it's a one hit perfect that's that's ideal but I, honestly though in my playthrough 
when I got to round 30, the Olympia was actually a one-hit kill until round 26 or something like that, which is crazy. Like, you would not expect the starting shotgun in the game, basically, to be a one-hit kill so late in the rounds. But it was, and I was blown away, like, throughout the full playthrough. That, that's why I'm kind of bummed that I wasn't able to show you it, because, number one, it was a lot of fun. We got to a pretty dang good round. And number two... It was my first experience, so, and it was my, my record for town. So, as much as I'm embarrassed to say that my best on town is only, it was only 27 before my town, or my Olympia only challenge first attempt, that's the truth. But I was also, I mean, that round number is me being completely a noob at zombies, not playing it very much, not practicing it very much, just kind of being, being a, basically a casual player. Ooh, Animax ammo at the end of the round. Noise. Don't mind if I do. And do I want to grab that? Yeah, I'll grab that. I'll grab that, Carpenter. Why not? All right. Nice. And I can't... I am allowed to use my knife, by the way. I am allowed to use my... Just stand my standard knife if I want to use it. But I can use my N1911 as well, but I cannot pack a punch it, of course. Because that would completely ruin the challenge. That would just be kind of a normal run with an Olympia as my secondary. You know what I mean? So, can't use that. Have to use the... Have to use the uh, Olympia only as my weapon. So. But if I want to use my regular M1911, I can use that as maybe an insta-kill weapon. But probably not. Probably not in all honesty. There's no reason for me to do that. So. But now we are on the road to getting this gun pack-a-punched. And then, of course, getting Speed Cola as well. Speed Cola is going to be super important. The heck? I, need, I always forget to aim. I need to make sure I aim for that center mass on these guys. But yeah, I mean, if you want to see me play or do this challenge on any other map, feel free to leave that down below in the comment section. I can't really do this challenge in Black Ops, Black Ops 3, of course. But I can do it in Black Ops 1. I can do it on pretty much any Black Ops 3 map. Or Black Ops 2 map, sorry. I think I think the only Black Ops 2 map the Olympia isn't on is Origins. But even then, I could be wrong on that. So, But I won't be doing this challenge like every week. I won't be doing a big series out of it. I want to mix up the challenges here on the channel. But... You know, it's just, it's just an option if you want to see that, basically. So, basically, that's just an option. If you do enjoy this challenge, I'll for sure continue it and keep it up. So, all right. There's one guy spawning over there. Gonna, it's a little far away for, from this shot, for this shotgun. But, honestly, though, this shotgun becomes super good with pack, when pack a punch. Like, I was blown away, as I mentioned previously. I mean, you just don't expect this gun to just put in work, but it does. It really does. I'm not sure if it's better than the M14. I think point-wise, the M14 is better. But, like, actually practical. This gun is, seems seems a little bit more practical than the M14, but... Okay. Alright, that's two quick hits. Right, we're going to definitely pack a punch this thing at the end of this round. For sure. For sure. Alright, what is that? A double points within a nuke. Alright, I'll grab all that together here in a little bit. I want to get through this round first, though. Perfect. Did we get 800? Or did we get, yeah, did we get 800 points? I think we might have. Alright, come on, pack a punch it. No, that's a grenade. Why do I keep doing that? Come on. Hurry up. Hurry up. Oh, yeah, there was a carpenter clutch. And now we have the Hades. 